everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And while their screen time, much like their stature, is a bit short, the adorable little mini puffs cause a fair bit of anarchy in Ghostbusters Afterlife, helping to tear apart the aisles of a Walmart and then later appearing during the film's emotional finale. Now, given their childlike wonder yet need to cause mischief, it shouldn't come as a surprise that there were countless ideas for the mini puffs that didn't make the film. Concept artist Jonathan Opschkenhaven has shared a handful of images from the early design phase, showcasing the little marshmallow minions being all sorts of adorable with a total disregard for their well-being. Now, one of the most noteworthy pieces is the Mini Puffs finding a cappuccino machine. And while this moment never made it into the film, a few collectibles were clearly inspired by this concept. From the Hallmark keepsake ornament to a Funko Pop vinyl figure. Now, continuing with the idea of melted Mini Puffs, we got a legion of them finding a fondue pot. And this fondue pot and the Mini Puffs would have recreated a tribal sacrifice. From there, we've got them interacting with a fly zapper. And we've got some Mini Puffs eating marshmallow while others are just standing around watching the light show. Now, this one is likely one of my favorite concepts and it would have been hilarious to see in Afterlife. We've got a Mini Puff eating an endless trail of candy. And why is it endless? Because he's so full, he keeps pooping them out. Yeah, we've got a Mini Puff eating its own poop. I mean, it's not really poop, it's candy. But it did pass through him, so yeah, I guess technically it is poop. I really don't know the inner workings of a Mini Puff, so I'm at a loss here. And finally, we've got some rough drafts just pretty much depicting some of the hijinks the Mini Puffs could have gotten into. Like hovering over fans and vent grills, laser pointing fun, zip wiring, rubber band catapulting, and also interacting with a slinky. That would have been a great nod to Ghostbusters too. And they somehow just keep getting better, including worshipping the Michelin Tire Man, wearing makeup, a gladiator Q-tip fight, which could have maybe been the inspiration for that other Funko Pop vinyl figure. We also have knife throwing, how barbaric, Mad Max style jousting, the idea of erecting a racetrack, roasting a mini puff using an LED candle, and lastly, the one I really wish would have made the film a recreation of the original 1984 Ghostbusters ending. And this would have included a city made out of cereal boxes and toys. I mean, come on, that scene would have been so much fun. Now, for more concept art, we do have a link down below in this video's description to Jonathan's Art Station account. Now, that's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.